this is obviously very big news because you're moving into what we can only describe as still one more mega region, but perhaps the most Probably maybe one of the fastest growing in the country. So tell us about, uh, give us a little description of Lehigh Hansen deal and what it means for the company. Jim, it gives us a brand new platform in the Western United States. Back to your point, we've long talked about the importance of mega regions in the United States, where we're going to see 70% of the growth of population between now and 2050. And what this does for us is it gives us a platform position in California. Importantly, these markets are tremendous aggregate markets. If we're looking at the Los Angeles market all by itself, it's around 80 million tons per year. The San Francisco Bay Area, 30 million. Phoenix, which we're also moving into, another 30 million, and San Diego at 14. When we compare these to other major markets in which we participate, such as Indianapolis, Charlotte, Raleigh, and others that are in the high teens, it gives you a sense of how powerful these markets are. And we're also sensitive to the fact that in many parts of the state, in California, there are depletion plays of aggregate reserves, and these facilities have a very nice 30-year life to them. So we like how we're going to be positioned in a very dynamic state for a long time. Now, there's two things that, uh, one good, one bad about California, uh, from my point of view, when I look at your company. One is that people think that California is insolvent. It's actually incredibly solvent. But the other is it's very hard to build because of environmental regulations. Will that impede what you want to do there? We don't believe that it will. If, If we look overall at the infrastructure plans that California has, number one, they need to move people and goods. They need to move them efficiently. They need to move them in a way that's environmentally sensitive. We feel like we can help them do that. At the same time, there are a lot of people that live in California. If we're looking at housing and overall population in that state, what's going to happen with single family housing, we believe, is going to be important as we look at overall aggregate consumption because oftentimes we see on single family housing two to three times more aggregates intensity than we do on on multifamily. We also think the drag along effect that we're going to see in California will be powerful. We think it is in some respects harder to do business. It also makes it an attractive place in highly regulated businesses to do business if you have a long term position. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at CNBC.com or give us a call at 1 800 743 CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.